How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Blade Bias. Today, I'm making a quick video to talk about this guy, the Olympus Prime, before I send it back to Ted. Um, and the video is, is, you know, maybe, I'll just, I'll just, I don't know why I said end the video. I was just going to kind of start talking about what I want to talk about. Um, and I, I have some very minor opinions on this thing, but I think my opinions on this trainer are not even about the trainer itself. I think I'm just becoming very picky. I'm at the point in the balance long hobby, especially after going to Blade Show, especially after running Blade Bias for so long. Um, I say running, but of course, you know, co-running, I guess is the better term, especially after doing Blade Bias. That's a better term because I don't run Blade Bias. Um, in fact, if anything, Ethan's the one who runs Blade Bias. Um, but doing Blade Bias for so long... Um, I've tried a lot of things, and I've given my opinion on a lot of things, and I've had a lot of questions, and I'm to a point, especially after trying so many things, that unless something brings, unless a trainer or a knife brings something new to the table that is incredibly interesting or unique, I don't really care, and this is one of those scenarios. This is a trainer that flips really good. It does have a strong handle bias. So those of you people who are dead neutral or it sucks, you're probably not going to like this thing. Just a fair warning. Um, the rounded handles are pretty nice. It is a little bit strong of a rounding for my preference. I prefer a little bit more subtle, uh, but it is a pretty cool feeling. Um, great for fans and such. Um, but this is a very fun knife to flip, and I do enjoy flipping it. But to me, it's just not interesting. I just don't really care that much. And that's not a fault of the designer of the knife. It's not a fault of Junior. Actually, it is all Junior's fault. Um, it's not a fault of the knife itself. It's more so unless something is immediately incredibly interesting and offers something that is not on the market. I just don't really I, I'm not interested, honestly. I'm just not that interested. Unless it's like an update of an existing product. Then, of course, I'm interested to see how it compares to previous products. Um, but this is a prime, prime, ha, funny pun. This is a prime example of that scenario where this otherwise is a really good trainer and a very fun trainer. And I enjoy flipping it. It just doesn't bring anything new to the table. So I'm not a huge fan. To me... This just feels, and I know it is doing a disservice to the design of this trainer, but to me, it just feels like a rep clone. It, it just does. And I'm sorry, um, but when I pick up a knife or a new trainer, the first question I ask, well, the first two questions I ask is, one, what does this do differently that we haven't seen before? And two, well, I'm stupid. And two, didn't mean to flip you guys off. And two what value does this have and what is the market value of this and by that i mean who are the people who are going to buy this and is there a reason for people to buy this i guess th those are the two big questions I, sh I should rephrase that my biggest questions are one what does this bring to the community that we don't haven't already seen and two who is going to buy this those are the two questions i ask immediately when i first hear about and or try a balance long and unfortunately I don't really have a good answer for either of those questions for this. When it comes to being a budget trainer, because I think they are pretty budget, I could be wrong. I think they're like 120 bucks. I'm pretty sure they're at least under 200. Um, it is fun, but like I said, it doesn't really bring anything to the table. And that is really just an issue with how I see battle songs because the average flipper who's like just casually flipping is not going to care. They're literally just going to buy stuff based off of what looks cool and what people say flips good. They don't care about the market value. They don't care about all that stuff, which is why I'm not saying that this is a bad knife because I don't see its market value. That's not at all what I'm saying. It's just kind of after trying so many things and becoming a reviewer, that's just kind of what happens. And at this point in my Balasong journey, I'm no longer in the honeymoon phase of, oh my gosh, every new Balasong is so pretty and so interesting, and I want everything, I want a huge collection. I'm no longer in that phase. I have long outgrown and just moved on from that 
mindset. And now I'm at a point where I don't want a big collection. I don't want a ton of crazy things. I just want a few things that are very interesting and I have a lot of fun with and make me enjoy the hobby. And that is kind of what I base how much I like a balance song off of. It's not, you know, this is an incredibly cool design that is like, I don't know. It's hard to explain because there are things that like something can be designed really, really, really cool. But if I don't enjoy flipping it, then I just don't touch it. Uh, my Medusa is a prime example of an amazing design, amazingly well built, especially after I got the mod work done on it. It looks amazing, but it just doesn't fit my current flipping style. So I just don't touch it. It just sits in the case and I'm incredibly grateful to have it. But unfortunately, that's just where I'm at in the battle song hobby, because I'm going to be honest with you guys. I am very burnt out of this hobby. And me getting into other things um, that I've been doing recently has helped to help me enjoy battle songs more. But I still am like, I'm just not nearly as interested as I used to be. And that just comes from the fact that when you dive headfirst into a hobby and go so heavily into that hobby that it consumes your entire life, it's only a matter of time before you need a break. And I have said on multiple occasions that I'm, like, stepping back from flipping. Um, and I, I still am, you know. I don't flip nearly as much as I used to. I don't talk about battle songs nearly as much as I used to just with other people um, or just in general. Um, I'm not trying nearly as much stuff as I used to. And I'm really only interested in things if they give me a reason to buy them. That's kind of where it all stems from. I don't see a reason why I would buy this. So I'm just not that interested, to be honest with you. It is a very fun knife, and it's by no means a bad balisong. And I know people are going to comment, oh, like, if you're not interested, then it must not be good enough. Like, that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that I have tried so much stuff that nothing really sparks my interest unless it is very unique or brings a very good market proposition. So... Unfortunately, that oh my god, unfortunately, this trainer does not quite do that because it just kind of feels like stuff I've already seen before, um, and unfortunately, that's not enough for me to want to get one, um, but overall, it is a very fun trainer, it does flip very well, I do enjoy it, it is different than I'm used to, so uh, I'm not, of course, flipping my best right now, but it is fun so that's about it thank you guys for watching why is there a sock out here um thank you guys for watching appreciate each and every single one of you uh i will talk to you all later this is not a bad trainer i'm just picky bye bye